Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to what I hope is going to be a new series called Glitzy Does. I don't want to lead you to believe I've never had a Dior product. I mean, I have. When they announced this was being discontinued, well, I lost my mind. I needed to have it because it was one of the favorite foundations of mine of all time right? And they're discontinuing it. So I ran over and purchased this like, wham, I had to have this. I used it the other day for the first time since I bought it, okay? Because it's been in a drawer waiting for me to have a special occasion. And it was fine. And then today I show you there's nothing coming out of this can. It sounds like there's product in here, but now it's been too late. So don't buy makeup, put it up and save it because you might find yourself holding a $62 foundation that could not be taken back because it's too old. I think I bought this back in August uh, when they announced that they weren't going to have it anymore. I fell in love with the Dior Backstage Concealer and that's why I wanted to try more Dior. What I was financially able to try right now was one eyeshadow palette and a lipstick. And I'm just gonna give it to you right up front. This may or may not be all that's on my eyes. Anyway, if you wanna see how I did my eyes and my mouth, my thoughts along the way, just keep watching. But I finally did this, okay? And I also got this and it broke the bank for um, eyeshadow palette and a lipstick. This lipstick was $42. Like I've never bought a Tom Ford lipstick before or twice or thrice. <laughs> so that's higher than Lancome. This is the shade that I got. It's not the shade that I said I was going to order. The tube is sleek. It's black, but it's just a click. It's not even a super strong one. That does look really matte. Let's get one of Longcomb's mattes out and compare. So here's a Longcomb. This one happens to be covered in velvet, but it's got a push button on the top, sends it out the bottom. So far, just on packaging, I'm gonna say, maybe I like this better, but I did notice on the cap of this that this thing is refillable, where I'm pretty sure this is not. Yeah, this is not refillable. Dior's mat does look more matte, but we shall see once I get my mouth all over that thing. <laughs> all right, so a Lancome Quint is $60, and this is $62. It's only $2 more. Let's get it out and look. There were three that I was interested in, and based on your comments, what I was interested in was this one, which is Nude Dress, Soft Cashmere, and Jungle. So I thought, let's start with Nude Dress. This lid, see, it shows that if you want a soft look, you would use one, two, and three. If you wanted a intense look you're going to use three four and five we have raised dior letters on this black compact open it up we got our two little thingies here whether those are functional or not i do not know because this is my first dior palette the description said that this was pink then this looks more peach to me than pink. I am so nervous. So many of you like these Dior quints that I am afraid that, it, that I'm not going to like it because I'm expecting so much. Also in the recesses of my mind, I think Mel told me one time that she didn't think I would like these because they weren't more pigmented. Okay, I went back through our conversations and for the benefit of somebody who has stumbled upon this video and doesn't know who Mel is, Mel was my little BFF who passed away and she had a channel here on YouTube. And she was saying this four years ago and it was about the Lolly Glow. It was a spring limited edition palette that I wanted it so bad. Those colors were just, ah, and she told me that she didn't think that I would like it. Now she liked that palette, but she didn't think I would like it. It was not any of these that, <laughs> that are for sale every single day. Speaking of Mel, all my Mel brushes are dirty. Fantastic. I'll get a MAC 242. The best thing to do is to swatch them first so that we can see. So this is the middle. We're going to get that Dior off there pretty quick, I think. Uh, here's this. That's super pale. You can't hardly see that that is a peachy color. And then we'll go up here. That feels very smooth. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. This one here. These are the top three. I can't hardly see these on my skin tone. Have I made a mistake? That's very light also. But that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes I find eyeshadows don't swatch 
the way you would think they would, but on the eyes, they look beautiful. And then the darkest shade right there is pretty pigmented. That's probably going to be my favorite shade in there, brown. <laughs> $62 worth of brown. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this Sonia G Jumbo Blender and let's come into this one right here. Keeping in mind that goat hair, because of the cuticle, picks up a little bit more than I would be getting with my synthetic, but depending on the synthetic brush, that's marginal, I think, here. But, okay, so that was a safe color to lay down from the crease up. The primer that I'm using is Sigma's eyeshadow stick in Ignite and bring some more of that in the corner. I'm going to take my refer number 14. Yeah, it's a 14. And let's start here. Let's get a little bit of this. Okay, now on this brush that came out to be a lot more. I'm going to relax my eye. Come right on top of that fold. Very soft. Yeah, this is going to be one of those barely there, but kind of classy kind of eyes. I mean, you can barely see that's there. And this is what I'm using as my transition from the crease up. I wanted to get a lot more stuff from Dior, but... It's going to be one of those brands I'm going to have to build slowly. I mean, I like their foundation and concealer, but I wanted to try a different foundation. I mean, I just picked this up when they announced it was going out of stock, but this is gone now. It's gone as if you can't buy it anymore and wait for it on whether it's actually gone. I really like that, but I like this concealer. I need to stop complaining about that price because, you know, every time I do that, I think about Mel and I had a conversation one day about Tatcha because I kept telling her, no! am I going to pay that kind of money for Tatcha, you know? And she's like, why? And I go, it's just, it's way too expensive. <laughs> and she goes, Mary, it's not any more expensive than Lancome. <laughs> In fact, Lancome might be higher. And I went, eh. <laughs> she's got me there. <laughs> what she needed to consider was, it's too expensive for me to buy with Lancome. <laughs> like it's a one or the other kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I want to deepen that up with this. And I'm just going to use that same brush. Whoa. <laughs> that is dark, isn't it? And I knew that, so I'm just tapping it. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, I like this one. These more luxury kind of palettes here, they all have something in common. And that is, they blend super easy and you don't have to use very much, typically. <laughs> you don't have to use very much of it to get where you're wanting to go. So they're extremely fast. And I think for the mature eye, they lay nicely. Because I think you can see that that is not matte. I kind of want to see what this looks like on its own, but I also want to know what it looks like over the top of this and that. Let's try and do that on my hand so that we can see that. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of primer right here on my hand, because I think that's more fair than just going directly on my hand. <laughs> Let's take this peach, and I'm going to take, and I'm gonna put both of these on top of it so that I can see what it looks like over it. So up here is over the top of the peach, and then this is just on its own. So you can see it does make a difference. But these do look more peach to me than pink. That's what happens when you buy stuff online. I'm sorry that this keeps sounding like I'm beating a dead horse over the peach. Peach, peach, peach. But it's a big deal to me because I have all the peach luxury eyeshadow I could want. I think that I am going to put this stuff right here in the middle over the middle of my eyelid, leaving the inner corner bare. And then I'll flip this brush over and I'm going to get this one today. We'll use that one underneath my eye. 
and I'm going to start in the corner and sweep it over the top. So it should have a slight shift in color because of that peachy shade. Wayne Goss number 20 is a little bit stiffer, so I'm going to get this color here and I'm going to concentrate on darkening right there. I want to sink that back a little bit more. I'm just taking this one here and applying it with my finger to try to bump its shine up a little bit. I like this. It's pretty. I'm not so sure I'm thrilled about having paid $62 for this particular grouping of shadows, but I like the formula. And now I'm taking that shade that I didn't use and coming up underneath here. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'll go put on the rest of my makeup, come back, and then we'll put on the lipstick and I'm almost afraid to put that lipstick on. It looks so dry. See, this just looks peach to me, not pink. It said it was pink online. The colors, of course, you can't really go by that, but the description I go by and the description said that this was pink and this is peach. That shade there in the pan kind of looks like it's more pink, but on the eye, no, it's more peach than pink. Ugh. Since we're right here at this stage, let's take the, one of their little sponge applicators and see, because long combs do a really good job, and the, these do too. They just have such short little handles. That's one thing I like about long combs is they have much longer handles on them, so I find they're more useful. Let me go get on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I had to come back. I was gonna put on my foundation and I've been sitting here for like three or four minutes shaking this and trying to get, to get it. It's not, it's just air. And it's too late to take this back. It's not, I've used this one time other than today. It came out enough to like get just a tiny bit on the brush, enough to do my chin. And then from then on, and to this day, it's just air. It's, there's nothing coming out of this. <laughs> Is this why they got rid of this? I mean, they've had this for a long time though. Not I've had this can for a long time. Dior has had this foundation for a long time. Because if you remember, this used to be, I hate to say holy grail, but this used to be what they call holy grail foundation for me. And that's why I rushed over there and bought it and just put it in my drawer when I found out it was going to be discontinued. But I mean, like, is this an issue if nobody's buying it? I think they would have known by now, but like, does it evaporate somehow out of this can? Why isn't it splurting out? There's no foundation coming out of this can. This is a brand new can. And also, while I'm back here, I'm just going to tell you before I ever put on my mascara, I can't live with this peach. I mean, <laughs> peach is okay, but I need that to be a brighter peach if it's going to be a peach. So it's kind of, <laughs> so I'm going to get my long comb palette out here. I do not have a shade that's making me happy in that. So I'm going to brighten that up with my long comb palette that I pulled out. See, now that's, that's better for me. This is beige brulee. I thought I had French nude. Hang on a second. Later. Of course, it's the last one I pull out. Okay. <laughs> This shade right here, this will do it for me. That'll make it better. I guess I'm going to need to see these in person. <laughs> Sometimes you get eyeshadow that in the pan it looks one thing, but on the eyes it's something else. Um, no, that seems to be pretty true. <laughs> that peach shade in there does, in fact, translate to peach. I'm probably going to love this because I thought I was going to love this and not this. First, I'm going to take a lip brush and come onto the bullet. It doesn't drag like it's super dry but it is picking up a little bit where that's my fault, not the lipsticks, this dry patch of skin on here. I've been living in liquid lips for the last week. I do like the shade and it doesn't 
feel as dry so far as how it looks. But like I said, I hadn't had it on my mouth yet. This feels really good. It does not feel as dry as it looked in the tube. And I like this shade. I don't know that it's that much better than Lancome's Drama Matte, but it feels a little less dry, even though it looked more dry in the tube. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you saw, <laughs> I'm not happy with this, and it's not the formula. It is the shades in it. So I'm going to take this back over to Sephora now before it gets away from me. And I can't because $62 is a lot of money to pay for an eyeshadow that you aren't going to use or enjoy using. But, you know, I mean, like I said, sometimes in the pan, it looks different than it translates to your eyes. But this didn't. This was absolutely exactly what it looked like in the pan. But I do like the formula. So if I find another one over there, like maybe Jungle, if Jungle's over there, I did go over there and try to exchange it. But they were out of soft cashmere, so I couldn't see that one. And the jungle was hard panned, but it didn't look that green to me. It looked more gold. But like I said, it was hard panned and, you know, grody. Like you don't want to even stick your fingers in it because no amount of alcohol could get all of the contamination off of you. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, one that did look really beautiful and swatched beautiful was Black Bow. And when you know it was out of stock, yeah, I was having a really fun time over there. <laughs> the soft cashmere, they didn't have a sample for me to swatch. But they had one I could buy. The Black Bow had something I could swatch, but not anything I could buy. That one there, even though I keep thinking about it because it was so beautiful. I am so much in love with my Lancome Smoky Chic that I just don't know, you know? So I would like to hear from you guys on this. I am looking for the Dior Quint that is going to give me the sophisticated pink look that I'm looking for, that I thought this was pinky browns. I'm absolutely in love with this though. I love this shade. I'm glad I ended up going a little bit more pink than the one I wanted to try. I started thinking that maybe you guys might like to see swatches of other lipsticks that I have in case you have those. And so I pulled out these five. At the top is Give Beauty Screen My Calls in the I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona's line, the shade Avriol, Juvia's Place, hashtag 2020, Lancome Absolute Whatever. I don't know how you say that. And Laura Mercier's The French for <laughs> <laughs> marvelous, darling. Mauve marvelous. I love that it's refillable. I guess you just pull up on this. Yeah. And then you can buy a new one to go in it. However, I'm wondering if this will still be something, like by the time I use this lipstick, will this snap still be something that isn't, you know, like worn out? I think it'll be worn out by the time I use up the lipstick so I don't know. All right then, I hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. If I put these on, then I look like I'm more awake, right? Whoa, wake me up before I go, go. Cause I'm not planning on going solo. Yeah, that's right, come in here. Peta, pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm singing! Uptown girl, she used to have a long comb on her eyes. But now she's gonna try Dior for size. <laughs> long comb, 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 aisle five. <laughs> Backstage, back door or something. Don't go in the back door. Don't go in my back door. Dior. It's a sneak attack. Primer, primer, where did you go? In my carousel, I need to know. So I can paint up my hand. Peter?